Hi, I'm Paul Gannon. Today we're going to do a submission. We're going to do Kimura. It's one of my favourite submissions and it's pretty easy to do, really effective, quite easy to get a submission. Now, so we're going to be in closed guard when we do our Kimura and um, the, the, we're not going to work any escapes from this. We'll do escapes on another video. But I'm going to show you the few things you can do to make your Kimura really sharp and basically how to set it up as well. So, Lewis is in my closed guard. He's maybe taken me down, I've pulled guard, or I've just been open guard and I've pulled here. Now, we need to get his head to the side, we've said this on another, another video. If he has very good posture, he's going to be stopping my submissions by keeping his head in the middle. So let's use this pop in the head again. Um, if I want to sit this side, I want to push his head across so I can come up here and, and take a Kimura position. But he's going to resist that. So I'm going to push the other way here. He'll resist. And then I just switch it. Sorry, I push this way, resist. I'm pushing the one, and then I push back and I sit up. It's called pop in the head. Watch that again. So it's going to resist. It's going to resist, 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 and I push the other way. And I'm going to sit up now. I'm sitting up on the elbow. That's very important um, because I want to be in a comfortable position where I can overhook this arm here. I'm sitting up. This is very similar as well to chest to chest sweep. If I was doing a chest to chest sweep, I put my feet down. I bridge into him. But we want to do the Kimura, so we're going to grab his wrist here and I'm going to, this overhook, it's going over him but not under, I'm going to grab my own wrist here and I'm going to have this really tight here, really locked in tight so we can't move it. And I'm going to start to sit back but I don't want to sit on my back flat, I'm not going to be able to get the submission, plus he's going to keep his head in the middle and he's going to make it a lot harder for me to finish this. So I need to get more to the side and get my legs up higher, so I'm here. He's going to resist it a bit. I'm going to pop up, come up on the elbow, overhook here. I'm going to grab his wrist real tight, grab my own wrist. Now, I'm going to sit back, but I'm going to start to hip out. I'm going to shrimp my hips out this way here. See my legs coming high on his back. That's going to prevent him from sitting up, which will be part of his defense, possibly. Now, I'm, see his elbow. I want to lift his elbow high. I just don't want to push up him and lift his elbow high and then push in for the submission, for, for the tap. So I lift his elbow up high, it's really key. Then it doesn't take much pressure then to get the submission here. So let's just do that again. I can maybe grab his wrist to begin with, um, but maybe we'll see that coming. Um, maybe let's say he's sitting up here. The main thing is I sit up on the elbow and I overhook tight then it's relatively easy to grab the wrist and grab my own wrist. But when you're practicing this, you might want to systematically just grab the wrist first of all, sit up, overhook and grab. So that's in three parts. You're going to grab the wrist, use that elbow to sit up, overhook, it goes right across, grab your own wrist here. Okay? And you've got this really strong locked in position. You're going to start to sit back and the hip out here. So my knee's on his back. I lift the elbow higher and higher and higher, then I push in and I've got the submission. Okay, for Kimura. Um, okay, thank you, Lewis. So, that's a little bit of the detail on Kimura. It's definitely you want that in your guard game, along with triangle, Kimura, guillotine, and armbar. We'll see you next time.